I want to turn now back to Michelle Kennedy with our forecast. Today did turn out to be a pretty nice day, Michelle. Oh, what a relief not to have to deal with showers and storms all afternoon, right? We had a little breeze. We had some clouds in the mix and certainly fog. Take a look at Greensboro from earlier in the day. We worked out those clouds, though, and now we have seen the signs that sunshine is going to be returning. We still have a few more clouds likely to get through middle of the day tomorrow, so I don't want to advertise Monday as a perfect day, but we do expect to see at least some better clearing than what we've had over the last several days. It will be a break for us. 73 right now in Jefferson as we go up into the mountains of Galax, 75 in Boone, and we've got you comfortable in the 70s too for Mount Airy, all the way across the triad. Your 77 degree temperature right now in Lexington feeling pretty good. After so much heavy rain, a lot of parts of Davids County had anywhere from eight to 10 inches by the end of the month. And yeah, or we're not even at the end of the month. Middle of the month is where we are. It is August 16th and school is about to start tomorrow and maybe you're gearing up and looking forward to some sun. Well, we do have a good bit of sun that'll mix in and out for Monday and more even on Tuesday. Highs typically this time of the year are some 10 degrees warmer. We only made it to 77 degrees today in Greensboro and we'll work on getting you closer to normal the next couple of afternoons. Now, dew points, we're gonna try and drop you down a little bit, but 60 to 65 is where we're probably gonna hover for the next couple of days and then taking you back into that more uncomfortable zone as we get you closer to 65 degrees and warmer for those dew point temperatures. It basically means we're going to have some more surface moisture. All right, highs today reaching near 80 in Mount Airy. Not bad. Yeah, temperatures also near 80 degrees in Burlington as well. And as we take you over the next 12 hours, we see about 59 degrees for those morning conditions in the mountains. That's a little cooler there. Low 60s to upper 50s with areas of dense patchy fog. We should begin to clear some of those clouds by middle of the morning. And notice we've got a light northwesterly breeze. And throughout the day, highs are going to be on the cooler side than where we have been uh, some other days, but we are still talking about upper 70s for you there. I mean, did you know in Greensboro, we have seen the sixth wettest August so far and for the year seventh wettest time that we've ever had? Yeah, so we're working on getting more storms in here, unfortunately, by middle of the week, but we are done at least for a couple of days. Right now, we're at 64 degrees tomorrow morning, and you see those rain chances at 20%. So in Greensboro, Winston-Salem, High Point, all the way north through Yanceyville, you do get a break from the showers, except for that mid afternoon time frame as we go into early evening there's a chance one or two could be coming in with that cold front all right 63 degrees in the foothills tomorrow morning we've got those areas of patchy fog and warming to about 83 degrees so it's a pretty comfortable day for you minus the slight possibility and watch this you can see through early tomorrow morning maybe a sneaky shower tries to roll into the mountains but that front that comes in with this system late tomorrow could trigger a little bit of lift enough lift to bring in of course, a shower or storm chance. We've got so much moisture here at the surface still to work with and a little bit with this front that we could see a storm or two, but we think most folks are going to remain dry. We've got temperatures tomorrow at 84 degrees, and so temperatures could be a little bit warmer if you get a little more sunshine. As we get you into Tuesday, though, this is going to be the real deal, the nicer day of the two. And then late into Tuesday, we'll talk about isolated storm chances. Over the last five days, just that gives you an idea of all that rain. And we end the month in Moxville with almost six inches. Wilkesboro, almost eight inches there. A Yakinville, you tip the scales at more than eight inches. So it has been a very rainy August. We've had a hurricane. We've had earthquakes. And fortunately, no major severe weather. But we have had plenty of flooding. So lots of activity. 12 inches for Sheffield from James George. And in Winston-Salem to Laurel Springs, more than five to six inches. And we are gonna to start to dry out. Isn't that a nice thought? We have a slightly drier pattern looking ahead. Here's your seven day forecast. We're at 84 degrees as we take you into your Monday, 86 on Tuesday. Impact days again returning through end of the week, Thursday, Friday, even into Saturday. We could see more showers and storms stay with you.